Golden milk, turmeric milk or turmeric latte seems to be this new super popular hot drink served in almost all health conscious places across the world. Brightly yellow colored from added turmeric, sweet with just a kick of pungency, deeply aromatic and satisfying, with each sip it evokes all of your senses, merging in an experience of deep connection with your body. Haldi Dod or turmeric milk is a blend of turmeric or haldi and milk dod and can be served with or without added sweetener. As such, it has been used in Ayurvedic medicine actually for thousands of years as a fantastic and delicious remedy for breathing problems, for enhancing digestion and for alleviating pain. Taken regularly either First thing in the morning or in the evening, it acts as a rasayana, promoting rejuvenation and slowing down the aging process. Main ingredient of the golden milk is turmeric. Turmeric or haldi is a brightly yellow colored spice originally from India. Its main active ingredient, curcumin, is a polyphenol which has been proven to have antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, antiviral and analgesic effects of the, on the body and it is a very strong antioxidant. Some additional health benefits of turmeric if taken regularly as part of your diet are as follows. Helps with breathing problems, cough and cold. It is an immunity booster, digestive, helps to balance the LDL and HDL cholesterol, supports liver detox, promotes weight control, brain tonic, it supports skin regeneration and rejuvenation, it eases premenstrual syndrome, improves the symptoms of IBS, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, eases joint pain, stiffness and inflammation, alleviates chronic headaches and migraines, relaxes and promotes restful sleep. To enhance overall health benefits of the golden milk, I personally like to add a few extra warming spices. You see, milk tends to be heavy to digest, but when simmered for 7-8 minutes with the addition of some warming spices, such as cinnamon, cardamom, uh, ginger powder and black pepper, it becomes much easier to digest and it becomes an even more powerful remedy. It has been proven that the addition of black pepper whenever using uh, turmeric actually improves absorption of curcumin for up to 1000%. Nothing new in Ayurvedic medicine as in almost all Ayurvedic recipes it states to add some black pepper whenever using, uh, whenever using uh, turmeric. All these spices tend to have expensive drying and warming action, promoting digestion and reducing mucus formation. This is especially important for kapha dominated people, people who tend to be cold, heavy, prone to mucus formation and weight gain. If you feel very hot and irritable, meaning that you have an excess of pitta dosha, I would recommend substituting very hot spices, especially dry ginger powder, with some cooling, spi cooling spices such as fennel and saffron. Traditionally, only turmeric, milk and ghee are used to make the golden milk. You see, Ayurveda puts a great emphasis on using milk and dairy products as part of our daily diet. Milk, if it's pure, which means that it is not contaminated with hormones uh, and antibiotics, is a sattvic food. It promotes ojas or immunity and it acts as a vehicle that can penetrate deep into the tissues. This means that if we boil these spices with milk, milk will become infused with the spices, with their active ingredients, and as a vehicle, it will penetrate deep into the tissues, delivering all these active ingredients directly into the tissues. However, if for any reason you would like to avoid using uh, animal products, which means milk and ghee, you can easily substitute, substitute them with almond milk. I will put the link for the recipe in the description box below this video. You can also use rice or coconut milk and ghee 
give, which I would highly recommend that you try to take it as a remedy uh, and can be easily digested even by people who show uh, lactose intolerance. It is a purified form of butter. Uh, you can, if you really want to substitute it, then you can use the coconut uh, oil. However, it won't be as powerful uh, as it is in this traditional um, method of preparation. Ready to make the golden milk? Okay, let's go! To make the golden milk recipe, what we will need is milk, whether you will use diary milk or non-diary milk. I would recommend for non-diary uh, version to use almond milk. Along with that, we will need some water and we will need spices. Now, there are two options. Either you can use fresh spices in their powdered uh, form or you can use something much more convenient and easier and perhaps more inspiring to use on a, day, on a regular basis. And this is the golden milk spice blend. I will attach the link for this recipe below this video. It is basically all these spices that I mentioned before and that I will show here uh, in this video. They are all mixed together and then combined with ghee. Again, you can use coconut oil, but when mixed in such a way, ghee or coconut oil, they protect the spices because spices tend to lose their uh, potency very quickly, especially if in powdered form and exposed to sunlight or to heat, they lose the potency very quickly. But when prepared in such a way with the ghee or coconut oil, that they will last for at least three months and up to six months. So this is a very convenient way to prefer to prepare your golden milk spice blend. And then when boiling milk, you will just add a teaspoon of the spice blend, simmer it for seven, eight minutes, and then serve it. And here we will show how to make golden milk with powdered uh, spices. Put two cups of milk in a small pot. If using diary milk, add half a cup of water. If using non-diary milk, such as almond milk, add quarter cup of water. Add the spices, as follows, 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 2 pinches of cinnamon powder, half a teaspoon of ginger powder, 2 pinches of black pepper, a few crushed cardamom pods or 2 pinches of cardamom powder, 2 pieces of star anise, 2 pinches of freshly grated nutmeg and 2 pinches of cloves. Give the mixture a good stir. Alternatively, you can use the golden milk spice blend, the recipe for which you will find in the description box below this video. Use one teaspoon of the blend per each cup of milk. Bring the mixture slowly to the low boil, then simmer for five to seven minutes, keeping an eye on the pot at all times. After seven, eight minutes of simmering, our golden milk is ready. At the, very end, at the very end of cooking, I have added one teaspoon of ghee. As I said, you can use coconut oil. Now you can strain uh, the mixture, but I don't mind having a few cardamom pods of star anise floating in my cup. Actually, I like that, so I won't strain it today, but if you want, feel free to strain it. I made two servings. Now as a sweetener, as you know, in Ayurveda, everything needs to be slightly individualized. So if you are a Vata person, Vata dominated person, or during winter and autumn when Vata naturally increases in all of us, I would suggest using some jaggery or coconut sugar and enjoying golden milk on a regular basis. It can be a few times per week, even every day if you like. It is best consumed consumed early in the morning or before going to bed and it acts as a fantastic sleep tonic. If you're feeling hot and irritable, it means that your pitta dosha is high or during summer, I would suggest replacing very heating spices, especially the ginger powder, with cooling spices such as fennel or saffron. And if you're a kapha dominated constitution, which means you're already heavy and clogged and prone to mucus and during spring, I would suggest that you replace cow's milk with rice milk and that you increase slightly the amount of spices as warmth 
reduces the kapha dosha and as a sweetener I would suggest that you use honey. Honey is the best sweetener for kapha constitution. Today I will use a little bit of honey simply because cow's milk is quite heavy. I feel it's quite heavy so I will use uh, yeah, honey. Now go get your spices and make your golden milk spice blend or make your first golden milk batch. I trust you will enjoy it because it is such a fantastic and delicious remedy and I haven't met a person that doesn't like this. I mean, come on, it's delicious. Let me know what you think. Leave your comment below this video. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and wishing you a fantastic, fantastic and inspiring new year. See you next week in the upcoming video.